Hey everybody, Pink Kitty here. Welcome back. It is a cold, rainy Saturday, so I thought it would be a perfect time to do some glue booking. Um, sorry that I missed yesterday. I have been having some bouts with anxiety attacks, and so this week hasn't really been a very good week, and yesterday was exceptionally bad, but today I thought I would just try and do a little crafting to try and help ease that and, you know, talk a little bit with you guys. So I thought I'd introduce you to my random glue book. I have two glue books. I have you seen my rainbow glue book. Well, this is my, this is my random glue book. I haven't really taped the edges yet. I've only got one page in here done. It's all of my beautiful like grays and look at the puppy. <laughs> Oh, it was adorable. But yeah, I had a bunch of nice, like, gray-themed, like, images that just looked really good together. So I thought I would just kind of put those on a page. And and so, yeah, I haven't taped all the edges yet. I thought I would kind of just tape as I go. I didn't really feel like doing all of them at once right now. And I'm just using white washi tape on the edges for this one because, you know, I had this white and... I want to use it up. It's like, it doesn't make sense to just hoard your stuff, you know, use it up so you can get more. It's like really the whole idea. It's like, there are some craft things I do hoard, but most of my stuff I will use. Yep, yeah, most I will use because it's like, I want to get more and you know, I don't have space for more. So I got to use up to get more, you know, you know, but yep. Yeah. This is my random one, and I have been a cutting fiend for the past few days. I have been cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. And so I had a bunch of Birds and Blooms magazines, so I cut through a bunch of those, and this is everything in there. I love Birds and Blooms magazines. They have so much in their magazines. They are perfect. Then they also, you know, have pages that really frustrate the crap out of you. Like this page. See, I have got four beautiful images right here that, you know, I want to use. I love. But then you flip it over and what do they do to you? They give you four more images. I'm like, I swear Birds and Blooms does this just to irritate us glue bookers. Because like, you've got eight beautiful images here. I want them all. But you can only pick four of them. You can only have four. You can't have all of them. Oh, no, no, no. Why would you be allowed to have all of them? Only pick four. It's like this, 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 this frustrates the crap out of me. But anyway, so yeah, so let's just go ahead and do a, a page or two. So I'm going to first have to uh, glue and tape an edge. So I'm going to quick get my stuff together for that. And so I just do, I do two pages together. This is just how uh, Nicole from Nicole Relax Cut Glue here on YouTube showed us how she did hers. She doesn't glue the entire page together. What she just did was, was she would take the glue and just do the edge here. She would just do that. I'm going to use that to hold my page open. That's not going to work. Ha 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 ha. Because, yep, washi is not, washi tape is not permanent. It's not very good sticky, sticky tape. It's not going to stay stuck and stay there forever. So, you use glue stick. I probably unrolled way too much. Ah, no, no. See, I'm kind of having to do this in an awkward position because of my camera tripod. There, and then rip that off. Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. All right. Now, huh, we can get to flip over the whole thing. Oh, goody. Goody, goody gumdrops. That's probably why I didn't do all the pages on this one, because I was so sick of doing it on the rainbow one. All those pages that had to be taped and glued, I'm like... I am not going to do it all on this one. I'll just do as I go. I was like, that was enough. And then you just glue some more on this edge. 
And then you fold over your tape. I start in the middle, so then that way I can get it nice and straight crease all the way down on both sides. It's just worked easiest that way. Just like so. And then I will take my scissors and I'll just cut the corners, round them off. I really wish I had a bigger desk. I would I would have need a bigger table. This is this is ridiculous. But yeah. There we go. I have another page taped. And see how it's not glued, so it's still up still a pocket in there. Still a pocket. That's exactly how uh Nicole did it. How she showed everyone how she did hers, and I really liked that way it is technically it is pretty easy, but when you've got so many of them to do, it becomes a little monotonous. So let's go ahead and just start gluing on this one. I actually had this really cool owl picture over here that I got out of the Birds and Blooms magazine. Isn't that beautiful? I really want to glue this one down. I really want to use this one. Okay, this is actually a very big one, so I'm going to have to trim it. I gotta figure out. It's okay, I'll probably trim this edge because I'm not. I don't want to cut off the, the owl. I should go get my uh, my nice even trimmer. That's all the way in the kitchen. I'm not gonna go and do that. So we're just gonna we're gonna probably uh, looks like I need to cut close to the wing. You know, a lot of people you probably cringing like, oh, it's not straight. And I'm like, you know what? So this is my glue book. Like I know a lot of things are not straight in here. There we go. That's perfect. I like to leave a little bit because I still like to have that nice edge of the white showing there. So there. That's actually really perfect. It's a really big piece. And see, see here again, there's more nice images on the back. So I had to choose between the two ones on here or just this one. So it's like, oh, the birds and blooms, why? Why do you do that? Oops, sorry guys. I'm bumping the tripod. You see, I got the tripod. It's like right here in the middle. Right here in the middle. So I'm like, Ugh. I don't have a big enough, big enough table space to show all, show all ya. All right. Oh, these images are so pretty. I hate doing this. This is also a very big piece. I hate working with big pieces. They are so challenging. So challenging. It's because it's like you want to work fast because you don't want the glue stick to dry. Hi, hi. Is that go? And then when you put the glue on, it starts to curl, and it's like, okay, okay, deep breaths. Okay. Oh, come on. And then I gotta get it all the way to the edge so it's nice, and that is crooked. All the way to the edge. Come on, come on. Okay, are you on? Are you good? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There, there, there. You know, I do not care if there are wrinkles in it. That is just me, I don't care. I don't care. It's on there, it's staying, we're not gonna play with it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with it. So, ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it actually goes really good with this, uh, more gray that I've got over here. Oh, how cool is that? So what else should I glue in here? I've got so much. I've got I've got to sort out this whole little basket of things I got. So I gotta sort them out and put them away. And oh, that's pretty cool. So yep, I gotta go through all of these and sort them into my little buckets. Oh, that's actually a cute one too. I kind of like those. Maybe I'll put those on the other page. Let's see. Yeah, if I, what do you think? Put them on this page? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. All right, I like that. <clears throat> but yeah, you you guys are right. You will be a will be cutting fiends. You will be doing nothing but cutting pictures. It'll take hours and hours to cut everything out. 
And then you will use it all up in just a matter of minutes. It's like, what? What? Uh, it's like at the same time, it's so much fun. And, and, and But then it's like, oh, now I got to go do more cutting. It's like, now I got to do more cutting. Okay, I'm actually going to use this candle again. <laughs> I need to hold down the page. It needs to hold down. So I'm gonna... Okay, where my stick? There it is. All right, I'm just trying to figure out do I want to trim off the bottom because it is, it's too long. So either the bottom has to be trimmed or the top has to be trimmed. And I'm trying to figure which, which, which part do I want to trim? I'll probably just trim the bottom. I'll trim the bottom, yeah. And you guys weren't kidding when you also told me that you will go through lots of glue sticks. Which is why I will be putting it on my birthday and Christmas lists. It's like craft glue sticks. I want them by the box loads. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Candle move. We are ready to glue. Okay. Look at that. Oh, so nice. It's a little stuck down. Beautiful and perfect. And now I'm going to trim the bottom. All right. Maybe I'll do it this way. We'll do it. Yeah, this is easier. We'll do it this way. There we go. All right, <clears throat> I've got a lot of really big images I'm trying to use up. I'll stick this one right here. I don't care if it overlaps, it'll be fine. Yeah, this, this is actually really, really happy. It's very calming and, and therapeutic. I really, <clears throat> I really needed this because I've been trying to do other crafting all week and it was just nothing, nothing was really making me happy in a way. It wasn't calming me down. It was just, it just seemed like it was getting worse and worse till, you know, Friday came around and I was just, I was just having panic attacks. It's like, oh, why? I don't, I don't understand why. Yeah. All right. You know, I wouldn't mind adding some some kooky random stuff. What do I have in here that I could throw in there? See, I love finding the like the makeup pages on magazines. I love finding things like these. These are really cool. So I wouldn't mind adding something weird and random to the page. What do we have in here? That's I'm just digging through. Got a lot, of, a lot of interesting things. I still have a ways to go yet. Cause a lot of stuff that I'm cutting out is mostly out of a uh, like like the glamour magazines right now. Or so it's a lot of just you know like the glamoury kind of stuff. There's not a whole lot of other interesting pieces yet. Cause I'm I'm still. Got a long ways to long ways to go. So many things to cut out yet, like everywhere. I don't know. I'm not really feeling a lot of these. That's a pretty one that actually doesn't belong in here. That's a square one. I like to keep like my see like these kind of shapes if they're a <clears throat> cut out the like, perfect squares and not a not a fussy cut like like this I like to keep them separate so I don't know maybe I won't find anything in here at least nothing that's really gonna go nothing really gonna go with the owl nothing I see it's really gonna match with an owl right now but that's okay it's like I don't have to have the page finished 
right away. You just, you know, get started and you work on it when you can. There's no rush in it. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have a donut. <laughs> Should I? I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't, but at the same time, I'm like, I want to. It's like, I should save that donut for another special page. I'm like, oh, I want to use donut. That's so funny. Okay, well, here's another great piece. And this is actually like a fussy cut. Like I said, these pages are more like along the, like the gray tones. And so I'm trying to keep with the gray tones. Think, should I stick that there? Okay, now the trick part is to figure out where I want to place it. Hmm. I really, oh, but the thing is, if I stick it there, I gotta try and figure out how to cover this up, which means we'll be covering that up. I don't want to cover that up. So I think I'm gonna stick it right here. Yeah, we'll stick it there. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah, Ooh, probably should cover that uh, glue stick so it doesn't dry out. I got another blank little spot here. It's like, oh, is there any more gray pieces? Ooh, oh hey, check that piece out. I don't know if you guys can really tell the details in that. That's a pretty piece. It's almost too big for these though because I really don't want to cover up that puppy. So maybe I'll, oh, oh, perfect. Look at that. It'll fit right down in that corner. It'll fit down there. I love scrolling through YouTube and trying to find everybody else's, you know, glue books that they're making if you guys are making videos of your glue books i love to scroll through and see because not everybody makes their glue books the same everybody likes to cut out different kind of images in different ways and they're just it'll be completely completely different and you can see what, what other people are like in like and interest in and and i think that's that's so cool that's why i'm making videos of my glue books it's like i know there are other people making them out there but it's like mines are not like everybody else's so it's like i'm gonna make them so everybody can totally see different ones oh here's another owl oh that's a beautiful one is it gonna fit on the oh kind of covers that up i want it there though then i'd also like to keep it on this page but it's too big Nope, we're gonna breathe. I think we can we can make it work here. We can we can trim it down. It, it's okay. We can trim it down because there's not really much going on down here. So let's 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 trim it. We can we can trim it. So it's like oh, trimming hurts because you know you cut out the whole picture for a reason. But it's like you you gotta make it fit. You you gotta make it fit. We don't want to cover up everything else. Okay, is that all right? I think that's okay. All right, we're gonna glue this down, and I think that'll be that'll be it for right now. I know there's not a not a whole lot, but every little step counts. Slowly but surely, it'll get filled. And there'll probably be days when I'll work on it, and I come back and I'll surprise you guys with what I've done, or I'll just save it all with you guys. That's Oh shoot, that went on crooked. Oh well, it's too late. I don't like be peeling stuff up because that just makes a mess. That just makes a mess. There. All right, cover that back up. And there we go, there's another page done. Well, it's not really done, but another page started and off. But yeah, I got a lot of gray themed stuff, but I'm kind of really liking it. Not looking too bad. All right, there we have it, guys. That is my random glue book. Thanks for joining me. 
and uh, for listening about my problems. It's like we all we all seem to have them. And uh, until next time, keep gluing. <laughs>